Thank you for tuning in to the Five Action Podcast, where our focus is on providing tools, resources, and insights that empower driven individuals to become the masters of their own financial independence journey. My name is Peter Dorisano, and today we're going to talk about how to give appropriate gifts to the people who have helped us throughout the course of the year. Now, for many of you high earners out there, this topic is an essential one because showing your appreciation at this time of the year is not just a great thing to do, but more often than not, it can set the tone for your professional relationships in the year ahead. That's why in today's episode, we'll discuss how to give gifts to service providers like nannies, landscapers, and hairstylists, how to gift within reason to business colleagues, as well as some points to consider as you prepare to show your support to causes you care about this holiday season. So with that, let's dive into today's podcast. The holidays are about giving back, right? Now, you've heard it, I've heard it, and frankly, by now, most of us feel like we've done our part after spending what feels like plenty on family this holiday season. You know, we've answered those charity drives and we slipped an extra $20 in that little red bucket sitting just outside the big box store. What more could be done, right? Well, if you're like me, the struggle isn't so much about parting ways with money, but rather it's about knowing that you've given the right amount to the right people. Indeed, the truth is that many of us struggle with uncertainty about whether we've done our part to show our appreciation to those individuals who make our lives easier throughout the year. From nannies to mail carriers, hairdressers and teachers, to colleagues and business partners, and to local charities, it can often feel overwhelming to think about how and when to show our gratitude to these vital individuals and organizations. And yes, while it might feel overwhelming at first, the truth is that when done right, holiday gifting shows things to those who impact your life, can help develop strong relationships, and frankly, make you feel better about giving back. That's why to be able to give right, you'll need to understand the ideal way to show your appreciation to those who help you, to be able to gift with enrichment reason and to learn how to show your support to the right causes that are near and dear to your heart. All right, so then when it comes to service providers in your life, why should you consider giving any one of them a gift at the end of the year? Well, offering a year-end gift is a great way to show your appreciation for all that they've done for you and your family throughout the course of the year. To this end, think about how your housekeeper or your nanny or your hairdresser has made your life easier and more stress-free. So then by gifting to them, what you're doing is showing your appreciation for their reliable work. And at the same time, it's developing a good relationship with these essential people in your life. Now, another thing you want to consider is that in many places, service providers actually anticipate tips during the holidays because it's customary. It's just how things are done, right? Well, either way, when you think about it, the end of the year is a great time to look back and thank those who've helped you. And gifting is just a simple way to do this. So then how do you get started with figuring out how much to gift to your service providers? Well, the simple thing to do here is to make a list of all the individuals you call on on a regular basis, like your mail carrier, your nanny, your handyman, your hairdresser, or other individuals who make a daily impact on your life. Then ask yourself, you know, what kind of relationship do I have with this individual and how often do I actually engage with their services? And so why are you asking this kind of question? Well, answering this question will help you better understand what kind of giving you want to make and whether that should be money or a simple thank you gift like candy or baked goods or a thank you card. And when giving holiday tips or gifts to your service providers this year, be sure to check and make sure that they're allowed to actually accept your gifts. You know, some vocations like healthcare or financial services have strict rules about receiving gifts, and so you wouldn't want to accidentally cause trouble for somebody who's actually helping you out. And while you're at it, consider keeping things professional. That's because in some jobs, accepting a gift might seem like a conflict of interest. And finally, it's essential to give a gift that feels right and doesn't make the other person feel uncomfortable or pressured to give you a gift in return. Ultimately, when in doubt, keep it simple and thoughtful and just say thanks. All right, so now that you've marked essential service providers off your list of individuals to be recognized this holiday season, the next group of people you'll want to consider is your colleagues and business partners. Now, considering that you likely work with dozens of individuals throughout the year, who specifically are we talking about here? Well, these are individuals who you not only work with on a regular basis, but who, without their help, you'd likely still have a lot on your plate this time of the year. Indeed, giving gifts to colleagues and business partners during the holidays is essential to show how much you care. Indeed, it shows that you appreciate and value the work and support they've given you throughout the course of the year. And you know, this seemingly small act can really help strengthen your professional relationship in the year ahead. And here again, at the same time, in certain industries, industries like tech or finance and hospitality, it's kind of expected that you would exchange gifts during the holiday season. And if you're one of those individuals who ignores the practice entirely, well, this might be a wake-up call to you that you might be making others feel overlooked. And you know, when it comes down to it, giving gifts can also make you feel good about the practice itself because you're recognizing the roles that people play in your lives and ultimately in your own personal and professional success. And at the end of the day, it's a great way to wrap up the year and get ready for another year of working together. All right, so
So how do you go about gift giving to colleagues and business partners? Well, now it's essential to note that gifting can become overwhelming because here again, when you sit down and think about it, there's a good number of people who'd likely helped you be productive and successful on a regular basis. So then the key to gifting to colleagues and business partners without getting overwhelmed is to get back to basics. And what exactly are we talking about here? Well, if you're a software engineer at a large tech company, then consider giving gifts that resonate with tech savvy and the professional nature of your colleagues. A good choice here might be high quality tech accessories that can be used in the office, like a branded mouse or stylish laptop sleeve that are ultimately useful, aligned with the interest of your peers and maintain a professional tone. And if these items are out of your budget, consider giving branded gifts like socks, which are easy to transport and have less fitting issues like t-shirts. Now, on the other hand, if you're the owner of a real estate or financial services firm, your gift should reflect a more formal and traditional nature of your industry. Here, you'll likely want to opt for classic business gifts like elegant pens, leather-bound notebooks, or maybe a well-chosen book on business or finance. Here, these items are professional, they're useful in a business setting, and they show that you put the thought into selecting something that aligns with the interests and needs of your colleagues and business partners in this given sector. Another thing you'll want to consider as you're thinking about gifts for colleagues and business associates this year is the appropriateness of that gift. And so what are we talking about here? Well, to figure out whether your gift is appropriate or not, start by asking yourself, will the gift I'm considering show awareness of the recipient's culture and religious background, or will it be open to misinterpretation? Now, this question is crucial because the last thing you want to do is spoil a festive mood. That's why when you're picking out a gift for someone at work, it's really important to think about their cultural and religious background. Taking this approach shows that you respect and understand where they're coming from, and ultimately you don't want to give something to somebody that can be taken the wrong way or make them feel uncomfortable. Ultimately, keep your gifts simple, keep them thoughtful, and keep them them genuine to show your appreciation. Now, the last group that you'll likely want to consider giving a gift to during the holiday season is your local charity. And sure, by now, you've likely made some contributions to that little red bucket outside of the grocery store or the big box store, or you've answered that pledge drive, and so you're all set with charitable giving for the year, right? Sure, that might be the case. But for many of us out there, the giving season also leaves us asking if there's any more that we can do to support our community or causes we care about. So then, if this is you, now may be a great time to think about showing your support by giving your time, talents, and treasure. Now, the big question for many of you out there is, which charity should I give money to at this time of the year? Now, the answer to this question could be so difficult because there are so many options to choose from, and ultimately picking the right one can cause your head to spin. Even so, the truth is that you can make a big impact in your community this holiday season by doing just a little due diligence before doing any of the giving work itself. How so? Well, before you give to your local charity, it's crucial to do a bit of homework to ensure that your donation is used effectively for the cause that you care about. So then, to achieve this end, you'll likely want to start by researching the charity mission and its programs. Here, what you're trying to do is ensure that their goals align with your values and your interests. And so to accomplish this end, go to your chosen charity's website or look through their annual report so that you can evaluate their impact and what they've achieved so far this year. The next thing you'll want to do is check your chosen organization's financial health and how transparent they are about where your donation goes. Here, you'll find tools like Charity Navigator or GuideStar that provide detailed insights into a charity's financials, including how they spend their funds. And so what exactly are you looking for here? Well, ultimately, you'll want to ensure that a good portion of their budgets go directly to the programs that they claim to support rather than administrative costs. At the same time, you'll want to understand how the charity operates and who's in charge. That's because knowing who leads the organization and how they make decisions can help give you confidence in their management team and ultimately their ability to deliver on their mission. Now, before you go out and give money, it's crucial to ask yourself, do I have all the information I need to give to a cause before I donate my time, talents, or treasures? Here again, you can use resources like Charity Navigator or GuideStar so you can better understand the charity need before making a cash donation to your chosen cause for the year. Indeed, knowing more about a charity lets you choose the best way to help, and truth be told, when you understand the charity's work, it feels more rewarding to contribute. Either way, this approach can help ensure that your contribution makes an impact and goes to a legitimate cause. You know, when it comes down to it, when you give gifts to service providers, to colleagues and charities during the holidays, you're doing something that truly matters. That's because giving to service providers is a way to thank them for their hard work and shows them that you appreciate what they've done for you all year long. And with your call colleagues, gifting helps strengthen your work relationships and makes your office a more pleasant place to be because your gift is a way of saying that you're glad to work with these individuals. And when you donate to charities, what you're doing here is helping people who really need it, especially at this time of the year. Indeed, it's a way to spread kindness and feel good about giving back. Now, you know, ultimately, these gifts are more than just money or things that you're giving away. They're ways to show gratitude and make a positive difference that take you one step closer to becoming the master of your own financial independence journey. 
Well, that's it for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the Phi Mastery Podcast. To learn more about today's topic, you can visit the episodes page at phimastery.com. And if you can find one person in your life who would find today's message helpful in getting their financial house in order, please share this episode with them. But until next time, I'm Peter Donisano, wishing you and yours abundant health and prosperity. The Phi Mastery Podcast is brought to you by Franklin Madison Advisors, Inc. Franklin Madison Advisors is a registered investment advisor firm with its registration and principal place of business in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Registration of an investment advisor does not imply a certain level of skill or training. This commentary and forecast is limited to the dissemination of general information pertaining to Franklin Madison Advisors investment advisory services and general economic and market conditions and are subject to change without notice. The information shared today is not intended to be personal, legal, investment, or tax advice or a solicitation to buy or sell any security or engage in a particular investment strategy. For additional information about Franklin Madison Advisors, including fees and services, please contact Franklin Madison Advisors or refer to the Investment Advisor Public Disclosures.